Hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at bearings. Now, bearings always cause problems for some reason. Um, I'm going to start off the lesson by showing you exactly what a three-figure bearing is, and then uh, solving this example or going through this um, these three questions. So, firstly, what is a bearing? So, the common real-life um, situation where you'll hear of bearings is in the sea. So imagine you have two boats, boat A and boat B, and you want to know what position is B in relation to E, or sorry, in relation to A. Now what we what we use in this situation is bearings. It's one way to look at a position and it's the, always the same, so that's one of the reasons why it is useful. Now what's important is we start north. So we look north and to get to find the bearing of B from A. Now this is the first kind of tricky thing. B from A. If it's from A, that means we're at A and we're looking at B. So we're in boat A and we want to know what is B's position, what is the bearing of B from A. So from A means we're at A. Now what we do is we um, start here, start at A, and we look north and then we always look clockwise and we turn clockwise until we get to B and there's B there. Now in a classroom what I actually do is I get students to stand up, face north and then turn clockwise to face someone else and then you find out what their bearing is. So the bearing is this angle, the angle that you turn from north to face the, the other person or the other boat or whatever it happens to be. Now let's say Let's just say this is 120 degrees. That's 120 degrees. So the bearing of B from A is 120 degrees. Now, the bearing of A from B, a little bit more tricky. What we do is, again, from B means, so let's do, we are going to do um, A from B. So A from B means we are we are at B. So if from B means we are at B. What we're going to do is we are going to face north. So we always start off and face north. But what we do is we're going to turn and face and look at A and look at how many degrees we need to turn. Now the common mistake is we say we're at B, right? Just look left. And that is, what, 60 degrees? So the bearing is 60 degrees. Well, no, because you have to turn clockwise. So we're going to face north, and then we're going to do this. We're going to go all the way along here. So that's 90. That's 180. And then we go around here. And, well, I don't know what that is, but we need to figure it out. Let me show you a nice trick. If I continue this, um, this line, imagine this blue line. I continue this blue line down here. What we get is this angle here is 120 degrees because this is the same as this. This is a corresponding angle or an F angle, which I'll explain in a second. So these angles are the exact same because these are no these two north lines are parallel. So if this is 120 and then this angle is obviously 180 because this is a straight line, the bearing of a from B is going to be 120 plus 180, which is actually 300 degrees. Now note, because of this, the bearing of A from B and the bearing of B from A are always, one. there's a difference of 180 degrees for this reason. Okay, so that's B from A, that's A from B, that's what bearings are. What I want to first just kind of explain to you is our remind you of these pa angles in parallel lines. So imagine I have two parallel lines, and then let's say I just draw a straight line through it. What we have here, there's a few rules that you may or may not be familiar with, you may have forgotten. This, it, this angle here is equal to this angle. These are called Z angles. And then this angle is equal to this angle, because it's an opposite angle, and then this angle equals this angle. So all those red angles are the same. And then similarly, this angle here is equal to this angle here. And 
the green angle plus the red angle has to equal 180. They, those are called corresponding angles. Because look, this plus this obviously equals 180 because it's a straight line. And this is the same as this. And this is also, um, these are equal because these are opposite. So it's important that you know these uh, these rules, Z angles and F angles are alternate angles and corresponding angles are the more um, technical way of doing it. Okay, um, that's bearings. Let's look at this example. So these, these examples always cause problems. Bearings, uh, students across the world freak out uh, when they see it. I, I, I'm not entirely sure why, but actually, as we do this question, I'll probably find out that it's quite tricky. So find the find the following bearings, C from B. So here's the situation. Could Let's pretend they're both if you want. Uh, C from B, that's an easy one. If I'm at, I'm, I'm, at, um, I'm at B, so it's C from B. So from B, what do I, what do I need to turn? I'm facing north. What do I need to turn to get to C? Well, it's 55 degrees. Now, I have deliberately given you this to um, make sure you're aware. These are often called three-figure bearings. You have to put three figures. So if it's 55 degrees, you have to put 0, 5, 5 degrees. Why? Um, just to avoid confusion. So it's always the same. There's always three figures. So you may or may not have seen in the in the movies uh, we're at zero five five degrees from the other boat or whatever it happens to be um so you have to put three figures so zero five five degrees fine a from c right this is going to be more tricky i'm at c so from c means i'm at c i'm going to draw a line now solving these problems um a bit like most trigonometry problems if you you can actually draw on the diagram and do i advise you to and the more kind of angles and and lengths you can fill in the easier it's going to make your life so firstly let's figure out what exactly we're we trying to find so we're trying to find we're at c we're going to turn clockwise all the way until we get to a so we're trying to find that angle there that big one now this is 134 if this is 134, then this one here has to be um, 46, is that correct? Yeah, this has to be 46 degrees. It's 46 because this plus this has, has to equal 180, it's a straight line. If this is 46, this is 46. Why? Well, these are Z angles, if you like, and as well, these two are corresponding, so these ha this plus this has to equal 180. Another nice little thing we can figure out is, if this is 55 and this is 46, all angles in a triangle have to add up to, the three angles have to add up to 180. So that's, that is 90 plus 11, oh, that is 101 plus what gives me 180? 79. So this is actually 79 degrees. Now, um, okay, I don't actually need this 79, but I mean, there was no, there was no harm in me putting it in. What I want to find now is this angle here. So from here, all the way to there. So what is that? Well, it's clearly a circle minus 46. This whole thing is the full, a full turn is 360, but I want to subtract that 46 because that's not part of it. So I'm going to do 360 minus 46, which gives me 314 degrees. So A from C is 314 degrees. 314 degrees. Okay, fine. I think that's the most difficult one. And yes, so now, as I do these problems, I am reminded why people don't like them. They are tricky. Um, B from C. Okay, so now I'm at C and I need to turn to B. Now remember from this one, we said there there is always a difference of 180 degrees. So imagine I drew, let's draw this line. Imagine I continue this line here. 
Well, this is 55, so this is 55. So it's 55 plus the 180, 180 plus 55. Um, I'll do this is part B, and then C is 180 plus 55 equals 235 degrees. So this is 235 degrees. Okay, hopefully that has cleared up uh, any issues you have with bearings. Um, the main thing to note is you face north and you turn clockwise until you get to the place that you want to stop.